The Torah instructs us to distinguish between the pure and the impure, the animals and birds that are kosher and those that are prohibited. According to Rashi, the Rambam, and others, this requires us to study and understand the anatomy of just what makes an animal or fish or bird kosher. So what does make a bird kosher? Here we're standing in my garden in Jerusalem, and we have our hen, Marshmallow. Where is she? Marshmallow is going to help us understand just what makes a bird kosher. The Torah in Shemini, and later in Re'eh, provides simanim, signs or characteristics of kosher animals and fish, but doesn't give any simanim for kosher birds. Instead, the Torah lists 24 varieties of birds that are prohibited. In fact, the Gemara in Chulin says that most of the birds in the world are kosher. The Torah lists those that are not kosher in order to teach us that the rest are permitted. If we were able to properly identify all of these 24 varieties of birds without a shadow of a doubt, well then we would indeed be able to eat every other kind of bird. The problem is that over time we lost the tradition as to how to properly identify these birds. Instead, the Mishnah in the third parak of Hulin provides four simanim, four signs of a kosher bird. The first, kol of hadores tameh, any bird of prey is impure, which Rashi explains is a bird that pounces on its prey and grabs it up with its claws. The Sifre, for example, lists the eagle as the paradigm of the non-kosher bird. The Mishnah continues, kol sheyeshlo etzba all birds that have an extra toe, vizefek, and a crop, vikur kivano niklaf, and have a peelable gizzard, Gemara explains that it is peeled easily by hand, Niklaf Biyad. All of those birds are Tahor. All of these birds are kosher. Okay, so now let's take a look at our lovely hen here, Marshmallow, and see if indeed she is a kosher bird. Okay, so Marshmallow is enodores. She's non-predatory. She's a very gentle bird. Here she's eating out of my hand. In fact, she gets scared when she uh, sees some of the stray cats that come through our garden. What's this etzbayitera, this extra toe? So Rashi explains that it refers to, I'll try to show you this spur here. She lets me at the back of the foot. Here, show us your feet. Okay, which helps the chicken perch. According to the Ran and others, it refers to the middle toe, which is longer. Come, 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 come here. Come here. She has a zefek, a crop, which is part of the digestive system. The food is stored in the crop, which is on the breast of the chicken. In fact, after she eats, you can feel a slight bulge. That's normal. That means that there's food in the crop. And finally, she has a korkavan or gizzard that is niklaf biyad, that's easily removed by hand. If you've ever eaten chicken gizzards or seen how they are prepared, you have to first carefully slice the gizzard open. And then you'll see that there is a little yellow membrane or lining inside. It's like a, a little sack which contains the food that the chicken ate along with some pebbles and grit, which the chicken uses to grind up the food and digest it. So when cleaning the gizzard before cooking it, you first peel this membrane or lining and uh, it comes out very easily by hand. Now there's a machloket rishonim, if indeed we require all of these features, or it's enough so long as you are certain that it's not a bird of prey. It's uh, sufficient just to have one of those features, so long as it's a, not a bird of prey. The problem is it's difficult to be certain. In fact, the Gemara in Chulin, on Daf Samech Bet, records that the Chamin believed the Tarnagolid Agama, the swamp hen, to be a kosher bird. But later they saw how it pounced upon its prey. And so according to Rashi, that's why the Gemara in Daf Samech Gimel concludes with a statement of Rav Yitzchak, Amar Rav Yitzchak, Of Tahor and Echol B'Masoret. A kosher bird is eaten when we have a tradition that it's kosher. And that's how the Shulchan Aruch and the Ramah Paskin in Yerdea Simon Pei Bet. Only a bird with a clear tradition that it's a kosher bird may be eaten. We, of course, have a uh, long-standing tradition that a chicken is a kosher bird, but don't worry, Marshmallow, we're not going to let anyone eat you.